What's good, Overtime Podcast listeners? We're here today on another freaking Wednesday. I don't even know what episode we're even on, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> um, I didn't do my plug the last two weeks, so I'm going to go ahead and do the plug. Um, Spotify, guys, if you want to watch this, it is on Murdoch Gaming. It's uploaded on Fridays. I don't. I hope Alex uploaded it last week. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. Um, but yeah, Spotify, if you guys want to watch some of this stuff, again, you can see my bets at the end of the YouTube video. It's at the end. Um, we haven't figured out how to do segments yet, so you can just skip to some parts, which we should definitely figure out, Alex. I think I might know how to do it, but I'll have to look. Um, anyway, if you guys want to watch this, um, it is on Murdoch Gaming on YouTube. Um, it's live every Wednesday before the first game of the week. Uh, it's live every Wednesday on Twitch.tv, Murdoch Gamer. Come watch me bash the fucking Cowboys or whoever <laughs> we talk about it this week. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, as you can see, we don't have our third person here today. He might not make it to the NHL segment. <clears throat> That's we're, all right. We're still, we're still going to do, of course, because I got some things I got to say about NHL. But we just might not have Ethan here today, which is totally fine. You know, things happen. Schedules get mixed up. It's totally fine. So, let's get into it. We got some e-fucking sports news for once. And this one's a big one. I don't think Alex even knows about this because I'm the e-sports fanatic here. I was going to say. That was really laggy. (laughs) And that was really late on my end. Anyway, I don't know what's going on with our internet. Um, fuck you, Xfinity. Anyway, we got some sad and joyful news, I guess you can say. Sad and joyful. Um, Mr. Clayster has officially retired from the esports, which I really knew Damn. was coming at some point. Um, so, a shout out to Clayster. I grew up watching him as well. Um, and I just want to go over some of his biggest accolades here. A three-time world fucking champ. Listen, it was so hard for me to root for him sometimes because, you know, I'm an optic guy. But you know what? I always had love for Clayster. Esports is more than just sports, just like NFL. It's more than just sports. Three-time world champ, 2015, 2019, 2020. 18 times tournament winner. X Games gold medalist, which I think is a cool... It says this is a cool accolade because you don't hear anybody talk about that shit no more. X Games gold winner, like, that's just cool to me. Uh, He was also the 2015 Champs MVP, and he's earned $1.2 million in 20. So, congratulations on a hell of a career, Playster. Um, I actually watch his Twitch and stuff when he uploads, or, you know, when he's live sometimes. Um, So, I am a big Clayster fan, so... That's all the CDL that I have today, or esports that I really have, because I don't. Okay. Not much going on right now. I mean. I was gonna say. (laughs) Once we get closer into the. Into the season. Yeah, it'll it'll start getting. It'll start getting crazy. Yeah, for sure. So. All right, Alex. You're up. All right, well, a couple things that have happened in the past couple, past week, I guess. Uh, First thing is that Tua on the Dolphins is expected to go back to practice. Yay. Who would have fucking thought that he didn't retire? Well, I I don't know if you read his little conference that he held or whatever, but he said that he loves football so much he'll let it kill him. And I'm like, good lord, my guy. Like, Yeah, that's just ignorant, dude. I I agree. You can't. You got a fucking family. Like you're. Yeah. Dumb. I don't know. I, that. And again, I've said it before. I'm not a big fan of Tua, but that there just kind of. Yeah. I couldn't imagine something happening to me. Like. Yeah. Obviously, you can't imagine something like that. But like, my 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 issue is. I, but, I, I but, try not to do dumb stuff. I was gonna say, life. but no, but knowing that it could kill you, like. Yeah. So like, I mean. Well, just for podcast reasonings here, I'll just straight up say it. So recently I've been quitting. I quit drinking alcohol. Um, 
I'll have a beer once in a while, you know, if we go to a restaurant or something, but whatever's in my fridge now, obviously once it's gone, it's gone. I'm not buying no more beer. Um I'm quitting caffeine, which that is a tough yeah, that's tough. tough to I've already quit soda. I'm not worried about soda. Soda is easy to quit. I've quit it before. I quit it. And, it, and it's so weird because I could tell people the day, like not the day, but the year that I quit. And they're like, how do you remember that? Well, for our listeners, me and Alex has a fun fact for you about ourselves. Uh, we graduated the same year. We was in the same school. Um, no, we was not high school sweethearts. However, every year that we was in school was the year. It, it was the year. So, like, if we was in 10th grade... Oh, yeah, I know. yeah, it was 2010. It was 2010. Yeah. Like, that's just easy for me to remember. So, we graduated in 2012. So, I mean, it was pretty fucking easy to remember what the year was and what grade yeah. I was in. Okay, so I quit soda in 2010 because I was playing sports and, well, I was a quick motherfucker. I, I decided to quit baseball. I not quit. I finished the season out. And then I went to track the year after because I figured if all I was good at was running, that's all I'm going to do. Because that's all I did was pinch run for bases, which I did really good. Of course, I was quick. But the fact is, I quit soda. And, well, let's just say my 40-yard dash was a 4-6. I mean, that's pretty It's pretty quick. Um, I just had to brag a little bit there. Just a little... But yeah, that's a fun fact about me. I'm quitting alcohol, trying to quit caffeine, and already quit soda again for the second time. I'm not saying soda's completely bad for you, but like, if you're gonna drink soda, what are you looking at me like that for? I I didn't. I don't think the the podcast heard what you just said. I said seven up. Oh, yeah, you, like, I could see your mouth moving, but nothing came out. Well, I whispered it. No one should know. that. So, I just, you don't have to quit soda, but it is healthier. Look, I even have Alex quitting soda. She's drinking Gatorade, and which, don't drink too much Gatorade either. That's, there's a lot of shit that's always bad for you, no matter what you do. No matter what we drink, no matter what we do, it's always, it's always I, bad. I, so, this is completely off topic from this podcast, but... I joked with the girls at work. I said, oh, yeah, I said my husband quit drinking alcohol. So I told him I'd quit drinking my Coke Zeros. And I said, and I'm dying. And I kept joking that I was going to buy a six pack and leave it at work. And I said, no, no, I better not actually do that. Cause... Wow, that's ignorant, Alex. <laughs> they laughed. Especially since your work's a Pepsi only. And I'll just, I'll just report you. You'll just report me for drinking Coke at a Pepsi only resort. Uh, it's funny. But, all right, let's let's get into it. Okay, uh, the next thing I have is uh, Kamara has requested a trade from the Saints. No, he didn't. I'm pretty sure that was Adam Schefter that reported that. It was a rumor. Uh, he just signed a two-year extension. Oh, okay. Well, they must have come to some sort of agreement then. Uh, no, he, he pretty well debunked it. As soon as someone... Well, what the uh, hell? Trump, Adam, I don't think Adam actually did it. It was somebody else that had a verified check mark, and he said it was. The reason he made that comment was because Alvin Kamara, not Kamara, Kamara looked very visibly pissed off the last game he was in. So, you know, people just jumped to conclusions. And Kamara. Literally right after the game, retweeted it and says, "No, that's not true. Oh. Just get out of here." So yes, Kamara did not request it. Oh, trade. so if it doesn't come from Adam Scheffler, it's yeah, like, but I, I, it, it was the Adam Scheffler that I follow that I, I'm pretty sure had reported you, that. You gotta watch what Adam Scheffler there is too, because there's a fucking phony that goes around. Yeah, but I'm only following one of them. That's what I'm saying. His name looks exactly the same on Twitter. It's a troll account. Ah, uh, it wasn't on Twitter. Well, I'm just saying, it, it, even if it's on whatever you follow, it could still be a troll account. But even if Adam Scheffler posted it, he got it from somebody else. Because he literally just signed a two-year extension. It doesn't matter what the rumor is. He signed a two-year extension with the Saints, so rumor's cut. 
clear cut dry. It doesn't matter. Got to keep up with the times, Alex. But download the NFL app and you'll be perfect. No, because then I'm going to get fucking notifications every two seconds. That's Turn why. notifications off, idiot. Well, then how am I supposed to keep up with anything? Well, how are you supposed to run a sports co- podcast <laughs> if you're not going to fucking want the notifications? <laughs> Erp dee All right, well, here's one thing that started as a rumor, but I saw it confirmed today by Adam Schefter. DeAndre Hopkins is on the Chiefs now. Yeah, that is not a rumor, Alex. See, good job. You actually did something. Yeah, but it's, it was the same account that I saw the the Camara thing I'm looking, from. I'm looking up. I'm looking it up right now to see if Adam Scheffler actually posted something like that. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Uh, yeah, I seen that he finally signed, which I think is fucking sucks. Because I might as well just send him to the Super Bowl now, then. <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you know you can just turn notifications off. It'd be so much easier for you. See, I don't see it nowhere on his Twitter. So I think you got a bogus. Because on Twitter, it's funny. On Twitter, so this is for all the followers, too, who actually follow Adam Scheffler. There's a a guy on there that goes by Adam. Literally, he has everything exactly the same as Adam Scheffler. And even his at, his at's the same thing. But he has an L, capital, I think it's a 1 in his name. Uh in the middle of his name, so you can't, like, at first glance, it just looks like Adam Schefter, but really there's a one in there, so it makes it look like, uh, you just kind of misread it. Any other big news you want to talk about? You got? Oh, uh, no, that was it. Adam Schefter. What about Adam Schefter? You want to talk about him? Well, what about him? <laughs> you going to get any more stuff off of him? Are you trying to find a post? I was. Is it doing any good? No. Okay. I wouldn't have wrote it down, though. Hold on. Yeah, but if you kept up with the news, he signed a two-year extension, like, uh, I think it was yesterday. I'm sure it was yesterday. Either way, I think fucking 49ers need to hop on this wide receiver fucking trade i know because holy fuck you know i, I want to talk about the 49ers a lot today so all right uh, well well here let me just go through some of the news i found today then how about that um some of the key ones that i want to talk about really so Andy Dalt was in an accident car accident I, family. I did see that they just, they, just like a couple minutes ago, they just reported that uh, Bryce Young will be starting for Andy Dalton at Carolina because of his thumb after the car accident. I think he, they just want his thumb to heal fully before he comes back. Uh, a big one for Houston Texans. Let me. Devin White was signed. He's a linebacker, and that kind of makes it scary because Houston's already good. But well, now you give him another decent. A decent linebacker. Listen, I've always said one of the hardest jobs in the NFL is a linebacker. Okay, not only do you got to cover, but you got to blitz. You got to read the offense really well. You know, uh, if I had to rate the defense, I would say cornerbacks has the hardest job. I mean, if they're man coverage, they have. To, okay, let's Justin Jefferson's the star wide receiver. I'm just gonna say that. Okay. Well, when you're man coverage on Justin Jefferson, that's going to be the hardest thing to do. You're not putting a linebacker on him. It's. Someone said they can't hear me. Oh, no. 
to blah blah blah. You see, this is why I hate. That's why I hate fucking updates, dude. Every time your computer updates, it just fucks everything, dude. Mm-hmm. Alex, talk. La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay. You'll be able to hear me now. Um, thank you, Marcus. Good thing, good thing Alex is the one recording all this. <laughs> <laughs> That would have sucked. Yeah, that would have sucked. Um, but yeah, Devin White being signed. Again, I think that's just one of the hardest hardest things to play. I would say your second hardest is your linebacker core. Because again, you're going to man coverage sometimes with a running back. Okay, dude, listen. Some of these running backs are quick as fuck, dude. Devin Achan from... The Dolphins, I mean, he can run up to, like, 19, 20 miles an hour. Who? You think a, line, a linebacker, 230, 250, linebacker's going to keep up? There's very few linebackers that part keep up with that. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. But, like, I don't know. So, here we go. We got another fucking linebacker in the mix for Houston. It's going to be a great time in, in Houston. Um, What else did I read? Um... Mm-hmm. So this is just out of the blue, out of the random. I never heard of this before. There was a non-injury report today for Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Brandon Aubrey did not practice today, the kicker, because he had jury duty. <laughs> okay, imagine going... That to is the, hilarious. Imagine going to the judge, right? And they're like, hey, what do you do for a living? Hey, I'm the Dallas... Hey, I... I know, I know, I know you're not a huge, I, I know what you're going to say to this, but Taylor Swift has done jury duty. Imagine being Taylor Swift and showing up and having to do jury duty, like. I mean, that's, uh, I guess that's part of being American. It, it is, it is, it is. That is funny, though, non-injury list. That's, uh, that's funny. Um, I know we're not going over injuries right now but I don't know if there was any other signings really I didn't see anything other than um yeah was it DeAndre Hopkins that I said yeah I know uh, that was the big one signing. that was a, the big one I think because like I said last night when I got on to do when I got on to do my podcast notes, it had it was just a rumor. And when I got done with my podcast notes, I got on Facebook again, and there it was. that It was confirmed. And I said, oh, well, okay. <laughs> I thought there was another signing that I seen, but I, I could be. But, all right, yeah, we can, if I find it. We'll just come back to it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and talk about last week's games. Um, first game was Broncos at Saints, the and the Broncos won. Which, okay, I knew I was probably going to get this one wrong. I mean, with Ex all the injuries. Except you didn't get it wrong. Yeah, I did. I picked Saints. No, you didn't. I have you picking the Broncos. Well, my best, I picked the Saints. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where that information came. I said I can't go against Alvin Kamara. Oh, well. Maybe you misheard me? I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure I picked the Saints. We're just going to go with that. I picked the uh, Saints. Because, again, you just it, they were at home. I had. I'm pretty sure I had the Saints winning. So either way, let's just go with that for now. Um, yeah, they were at home. Alvin Kamara. I. I just thought you know he was gonna step up and he did like absolutely nothing. Uh, with all the injuries though, you can't. You know, Derek Carr was out. That's kind of a big one. Tyson Hill was out. Shahid's out for the year. So. 
I don't know. It was just hard to hard to watch. I mean, I'm not a Saints fan by all means, but Bo Nix kind of balled out there a little bit. The Saints did not go marching. What's uh, the next game? Um, Patriots at Jags, which the Jags won. I don't know why I thought the Patriots were going to win, but that's who I had. I don't even actually remember who I picked. You had the Jags. Because, you know, I mean, again, I picked, I probably picked them just because of the fact that they stayed over in London. I think you did. I think that's, I think I remember you saying that. And, and it shows why. I mean, Jesus Christ, 32 to 16. Yeah. Um, next game was Titans at Bills. Bills won. We both got that one. Yeah. After the Titans went up 10 nothing, they gave up 34 points. Like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. You know what I say to that? <laughs> <laughs> um, next game, Lions at Vikings, and the Lions did that shit. Yeah, and I fucking said it. I said Lions is going into Minnesota and they're going to show them that yes, Aiden Hutchinson is the heart of this defense. But and Dan Campbell's the heart of this team. Yep. Yep. Dan Campbell soup, you don't go against that motherfucker. He even went for it on fourth down in their own territory and lost. And score shows 31 29. Yep. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Um, Seahawks at Falcons. Seahawks won. Which honestly kind of surprised me they won by that much. Um, so one of my bets this week I had DK Metcalf scoring, which <laughs> I said this before. The Falcons has one of the best secondaries in the league. So to see him score, I was like, yeah. I felt like right there, I mean, you could tell the Falcons was losing that. I had the Falcons winning, so. Yeah, so did I. And I don't like seeing the Seahawks win because that's in our division, so. Fuck. Why didn't the Falcons actually pull through the one time I needed them to? Um... Bengals at Browns. Bengals won, which I'm not surprised. Yeah, and I know we're going to talk about this later on, but Deshaun Watson getting booed while he got... Injured? Beat. No. Let me talk. He got booed coming out of the tunnel, out of the entrance, Oh. And then cheered for when he got injured. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Like, that's just saying something about that team, dude. And I, I didn't talk about it. From the previous weeks, he should have been benched a long time ago. Yeah. Um, Eagles at John. Oh, sorry. Yes, now he's benched. So I just had to add. I guess now he's benched. I mean, all right. You said Eagles. Eagles at Giants. Eagles winning. I had, I had Barkley for two touchdowns that game. He didn't. He didn't. I mean, what? Did, listen, I. I'm a football fan. Can we please stop the tush push? I don't like seeing the tush push. Yes, not every team can pull off the tush push. But you know how... Uh, you that, cut out. Do you know how boring that play is? That play is so fucking boring, dude. I don't want to see a whole bunch of men crowd up somebody's asshole, dude. I don't want to <laughs> see that shit. Okay, if I wanted to see that shit, I'd go to Pornhub. Okay, I just get so tired of seeing a third and one, and oh, here come the dude, put. Like, dude, if you can get four yards, every why are we just not running that play the whole time? Right. But I, I don't know. It's just fucking annoying. I, I don't give it to the fucking running back, dude. That's what he's there for. You're paying this guy millions of dollars, and he could have scored easily, easily a few more times. I would have gave that ball to him. I would have made sure he had like three touchdowns, four touchdowns that game because literally came from the Giants. So let's shove it up their fucking throat. Just saying. I'm not I'm that kind of player. I'm that kind of coach. 
Barkley came from the Giants. You know what, Barkley? I want you to run for 300 fucking yards and four touchdowns, dude. I want you to show what they're missing. I know he has respect for the Giants, but still, I'm scoring on him, dude. Yeah. I'm scoring on him. Um, next game was Dolphins at Colts, which the Colts won. Which I'm not surprised. Neither am I. I'm also surprised they started Anthony Richardson over Joe Flacco. Right. Because I don't think it would have been, I honestly don't think it would have been 16 to 10. I think it would have been a lot more. It would have been a bigger gap. Yeah, I mean, he was 10 for 24 and 129 yards. That's, I mean, that's all he did. Right. His rating was a 59.2, although he did run for 56 yards on 14 carries. Okay. But, like, that doesn't, I don't know, I just feel like, what's the sense of paying your wide receivers, your good wide receivers for if you're just going to run the ball as a quarterback? That's uh, I like yeah. He, yeah, I feel like he knows when to throw it. And um, Next game was Texans at Packers with the Packers giving us an upset. Yeah, I wasn't too happy with the Texans and the way they played. Um, they did good. I mean, again, you're going against the number one. In my opinion, just in my opinion, this is not statistical. But the Packers were the number one team with the takeaways, okay? They had 17 takeaways coming into this game. To me, a defense, I'm number one because your job as a defense is to stop the offense. That's your sole job. So if you take the ball away, that's stopping the fucking offense, and that's your only job. So stealing the ball away from the offense, to me, you're number one now. If you lead that category like the Lions do now, you're the number one defense. If the offense, if you stop their offense and they don't score, and my offense has Jordan Love or Jared Goff, you know you're scoring. Yeah, Whether it's three points or seven, you're scoring. You can win by field goals. We've seen that plenty of times this year. There's been plenty of games this year where it's all been field goals and no touchdowns. So if my defense can get the ball back, you're the number one defense, in my personal opinion. So CJ Stroud did not show nothing this week. Right. He had 86 yards. Yeah, that's like nothing, I feel like. But Mixon had 115 yards rushing on 25 carries. So that's telling me that Green Bay is not really good at stopping the run. Right, yeah. Because just it, just a lucky it, game, it sounds before. like. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was because they, I mean, all the defense had to do was stop the Green Bay's last drive and Texans are winning that game. Uh, makes, me, makes me kind of sadly lost because I, I had the Texans winning. Yeah, I so did I. I still have one in the Super Bowl, so I don't give a fuck. Um, next game was Panthers at Command. Or no, sorry, sorry, I'm one. I'm one ahead. Raiders at Rams. Let's see. Ooh. Rams forced four turnovers that game, and Aiden O'Connell gets injured. Uh, I think he like hurt his hand. So Gardner Minshew came in there. Yeah, he threw three interceptions. I didn't realize he threw three interceptions. Damn. Well, that would explain why you lost. Yeah, right? To literally a broken team. That team has nothing besides Matthew Stafford and Kyrene Williams. <laughs> and if they're thinking about trading Cooper Cup, then they really have nobody. Yeah. Which I would like Cooper Cup to come to the 49ers, but since we're in the same division, there's no way the Rams are going to trade at the 49ers. Yeah. There's no way. We're going to talk about the blowout game next or what? Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Who, who won the Raiders Rams game? 
The Rams. Okay, okay. It just, for some reason in my mind, how you said what you just said, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's, I'm saying it's pretty bad that the Raiders lose to a team that has oh, no Oh, okay, okay. That's what, okay. I understand like, now. Like, the Rams literally only have Matthew Stafford and Kyron Williams. Oh, okay. It, their wide receiver core right now is not that great. They're, they don't have a Puka Nuka. Yeah. And they don't have Cooper Cup. And now they're thinking about trading Cooper Cup. So, I mean, Jesus, Lord, they have nobody. Yeah. Um. Okay, anyways. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. That is bad. Well, I mean, when, when Gardner meets you throwing three interceptions, again, you're not winning the game, dude. You're, you just threw three interceptions. Yeah, that's that does not look good. It's unheard of to throw more than three uh, interceptions and still win the game. It is unheard of. It has happened. Trust me. Uh, okay, so speaking of blowout games, uh, Panthers and Commanders. Yeah, that's what I thought we were going to be talking about next, because uh, there's nothing to talk about besides Jaden Daniels getting hurt. Yeah. Um. Next game is Jets at Steelers. Which the Steelers did the funniest thing ever. I kind of figured they were going to win. But my problem with that is now everyone's saying it's on this rush train shit. Listen. You can go back in my earlier podcast. I never said Russell Wilson is back. You just don't like him. I do and I don't. Uh, yeah. Okay? When he was in his prime, yes. But there's no hype around it. I mean, yes, he can throw the ball. Yes, he can read the defense. But do I need to remind everybody what he did last year on the Broncos? Do we just forget how bad he played last year? Apparently. Like, if you're, again, I'm going to say this once more. If you're going to put somebody up at the top tier quarterback list as an elite quarterback or a great quarterback like Josh Allen, Patrick Mullen, if you're going to put... Somebody up there, and he makes a no-name receiver a receiver. Okay, Pat Mahomes last year. I'm not trying to glaze Pat Mahomes' dick, okay? But when he's thrown to receivers and they're not catching the ball, that's not on Pat Mahomes' end. That's the receiver's fault. Yeah. Okay? I mean, we had... How many fucking players last year on the Kansas City Chiefs that could not catch the ball and the ball was placed perfectly right where it needed to be? Russell Wilson against the Jets. There was a couple passes. Wasn't so great. There's a lot of passes that the, the wide receivers was, I mean, wide the fuck open. Yeah, I high agree. Schooler, a high schooler could have made that. But there was also some passes right in the bread basket and I'm talking perfectly thrown balls. I mean I don't think Justin Fields and I will say it, I like Justin Fields more than I like Russell Wilson, but I don't think Justin Fields could have made some of those catches. Right. Why don't I think that he hasn't had the experience yet. He's still learning. Get this man a quarterback coach. Let him learn under somebody and I'm telling you Justin Fields is going to do some incredible things. Yeah. I mean, look at look at Josh Allen's first three years. His first three years sucked. Everyone says he sucked. He's going to be – now look at him. Again, I said it. I said it before. Anything happened with Josh Allen? Get the guy quarterback coach, and this guy's going to be a bomb, dude. He's going to bomb this ball. Well, look at that. Somebody gets him a quarterback coach, and now look at him. Yeah. Okay? I, I like to look at the potential of, of what people's got. Jordan Mason, as a running back, he's got a lot more potential than what he shows in my Yeah, opinion. I agree. And that Guillermo, dude, that guy there, I think yeah. he's got a lot of potential. <laughs> like, dude made a semi-smart play. Yes, they wanted him to score. But I'm actually I'm actually for Guillermo's decision on that the, the time where he slid. I mean, yeah. obviously his first, first game. But he slid to stop the not score. That wasted all three of their timeouts, and then they scored. Like, that's perfect play to me. Like, whatever. We'll continue on to the next game. Uh, hold on. Before we move on, I, it, just, it just occurred to me, 
and I should have brought it up earlier when we were talking about the team. Uh, Ty Johnson got another touchdown this week. Yes, he did. On the Bills. So, just saying. I think it was another uh, reception, too. I think, I think it was. So. I watched I watched a clip of it, and I just was like, I was just too hyped that he got it. <laughs> Yeah, every time he gets a touchdown, I say, that's Cumberland. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Ah. Ah. <laughs> You're such an idiot, dude. <laughs> um, next game was Ravens at Bucks. Okay. I know we're going over the injury list, but why the fuck are you playing your starters and you know you're not going to win the game? <laughs> Who knows? I feel so bad for I, I feel so bad for Chris Godwin. There was no reason for that, dude. You're not winning the game at a minute fucking twenty nine. Yeah, I, I, I turned it off because I know they were gonna win. Like, <sighs> listen, it was so bad. It was so bad that on my bet that I had on Fanatics, then you'd cash out. No, I couldn't cash out that. But it was so bad that on Fanatics. I texted my buddy Trevor. I said, well, apparently Fanatics knows something that I don't because they already had the Ravens money line checked off. And that was the the best part about that was that was before the two-minute warning in the fourth quarter. Oh, my God. It wasn't wasn't even after the two-minute warning. It was before the two-minute warning. The check, the little green check mark says, BAL money line. It was already checked off before the game was even over. That's saying something, dude. They know. They know. Yeah. Something. I'm just, hey, that's a little fishy to me. You know, I, I don't even know if I want to bet no more. Uh, last game. I don't even want to talk about that game. Well, no, there's technically two more games. Chargers at Cardinals. Two more games. That should be the last one we're talking about. I thought we were going to talk about the 49ers game. The okay, anyway. at, at the the as the ESPN uh, very generously told me about fifty five times in an hour, it's a Super Bowl rematch. I was like, if I hear the word Super Bowl rematch one more fucking time. <laughs> so anyway, the Cardinals game, uh, <laughs> Justin Herbert fucking balled out. Get that man some fucking receivers, dude. Get him a fucking two receivers, a tight end, or just. A good wide receiver and a good tight end. He needs something because Jesus Christ, man, balled out. And I didn't know half the motherfuckers that was on that team. But I like number 15. Who the hell is number 15 again on the Chargers? He's a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, rushing, receiving. Of course, they don't have his fucking number on here. There it is. Uh, 15. McConkie. Yeah, McConkie. Dude is fucking quick. Lad McConkey, dude is fucking Well I mean quick. I mean he's fast. That dude is fast. And he's not afraid to take a hit. And I like that in a wide receiver. Uh I don't The Cardinals did good that game, but I don't think I don't know, I think I was a fluke because there, there was a penalty towards the end of that game. I don't think it should have been a penalty. So I think Cardinals kind of got gifted that game a little bit, but that's fair. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and talk about that fuck 49 game. Who you want to talk about that fuck 49 game? Fuck, fuck 49 game. Sorry, the Super Bowl. The, you want the to talk about? Super Bowl rematch. You want to talk about that fucking game? If you want to talk about it, I don't care either way. I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to talk about it. No, I, I do want to talk about it. You know what I want to say about that fucking oh, game? Oh, boy. I'm in a lot of 49er groups on Facebook. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're fucking, if you're watching this podcast, if you listen to this podcast, and you're in these fucking, the SF Niner group or the uh, Niner Gang Faithful group, you know what? If you're going to fucking bash Brock Purdy one more fucking time, you need to leave that fucking group. Because I want you to sit down and I want you to look at fucking Pat Mahomes' fucking stats that game. He did dog shit, dude. That man did dog shit. He didn't do nothing that game. 
Both quarterbacks sucked that fucking game. Zero touchdowns. One had two interceptions. One had three. Just saying. Don't fucking talk about a motherfucking team and you don't even look at the stats. So, let's see here. Pat Mahomes, 16. 16 of 27. 154 yards. Two touchdowns. Two sacks. He had a QBR rating of 80. And I think that's just rating in general. It's 44. And then we got 17 of 31 for Brock Purdy. 212 yards. Three interceptions. One sack for three yards. QBR rating of 13. And an overall rating of 36. So, not very good on either end. But my problem I have... It, it, it's kind of the play calling down when we get to the red zone. Okay, I like Kyle Shanahan. And I don't like Kyle Shanahan. I like that he's... I know what you mean. Adamant, adamant about his players. I like how he treats his players. Okay, I, you know, there's a fine line between letting things go and, you know, not letting, like, sometimes, like, okay, what happened at practice one day... Brandon Ayuk had the wrong shorts, which I know sounds crazy, but if that's the team rules, that's the team rules. Follow the fucking team rules and don't bitch about it. Don't be a crybaby, okay? Kyle Shanahan has his team rules. Just follow them, okay? When you're out of line, it doesn't matter if you're the star wide receiver or not. He's going to let you know. Go change. Yeah. Okay, and I know that's a, a weird example, but that's the only one I can give right now. I mean, he also backs his players up. He'll say, uh, that was my call. That was, you know, that was on my end. Yeah, I shouldn't have made that call. Should have made a better call. Whatever. But I think his play calling right now is not the greatest. That's what a lot of people have been saying is that it, he's not a bad coach. He just doesn't know how to read plays. And I don't know. I just feel like he needs to change something up. Um, again, injuries. Our healthiest wide receiver right now is literally a guy that got shot two months ago. <laughs> so injuries are really taking did, a toll on us. Did you see? I think when we get Dre Greenlaw back on defense, it's going to be a totally different story because Dre Greenlaw is one of them guys. He will hit you out of bounds, dude. He does not give a fuck. All right, he just got fined two or three weeks ago on the sideline. Yeah, dude had he's coming off an Achilles tear and he got in this dude's face, man. He pushed his dude on the sideline. He got fined eleven thousand or thirteen thousand for that shit. But he doesn't give a fuck. He's one of those players that you need on your yeah. team. You need you need a Fred Warner on your team. One who's going to be a clean linebacker or defensive lineman. You need one of those dirty fucking players. You know, he's clean. I agree. He's going to fucking smack you. He's good at football. He loves football. He's going to keep everything clean. Then you need that one motherfucker named Dre Greenlaw. That you just... Like that. <laughs> where he's going to hit you so fucking hard that you don't know where the fuck you just came from. <laughs> If you're in the McDonald's drive thru on a fucking football field, he's going to <laughs> fucking kill you, dude. That's who you need. You take one step out of bounds, he still might hit you. He doesn't <laughs> give a fuck. That's a player you need. I know. Okay? You need both them on the team, okay? I'm just saying, nobody liked Nad Nadama Kasu. He was a dirty-ass player, but you know what? You needed him. The only, the only time I didn't like Nadama Kasu and what he did was stepping on that dude's ankle. Okay, maybe you shouldn't have done that, okay? But when they talk, when their teammates will talk about Ndama Kasu, they said he was the nicest motherfucker off the field. Yeah. As soon as, stepped, as soon as he stepped across that white line, motherfucker, you don't even talk to that dude. You don't even know who he is no more because he's going to light you up whether he's <laughs> your teammate or you're the enemy. It doesn't matter. That dude was nasty. Yeah. Okay? And you need a player like that on your team like Dre Greenlaw is. And we finally found our NHL expert down here. And we're not quite there yet, but we're almost there. So that's good timing. I'm here. I'm here. Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> Chef McSteamy is in the house. Oh, my God. <laughs> um. Oh, so okay. So, anyways, with my little adjustment made to your Saints, because I swear to God you picked the Broncos. I swear to God you did. Anyways. That puts you at eight to six this past week. 
And guess what I got? Eight to six. Nope. Nine to six. I got nine to five, bitch! <laughs> I did better this week than you! Woohoo! Well, then maybe I did pick the Saints. Or didn't pick the Saints. I don't know. I'll figure whatever. Because I had the Rams winning. I had the Rams and the Steelers winning, but you had the Patriots winning. So, or not the Patriots, the Jags. My bad. I'm looking this bitch up. I swear to God you picked the Broncos. It's possible I misheard you, but... You fucking stupid fucking phone, man. You can count him as a... I'm looking this shit up, because I want to know. Because you, you can't beat me during the week. Why not? I have... On one screen here, I have all the games for this upcoming... What? Next week's game. Okay, for anybody new... Here we go. Have... Here we go. On one screen here, I have all the games for this upcoming NFL week. I have my picks. Chris is going to have his picks. I've got one more thing. Oh, yeah, go ahead. i got one more thing. <laughs> um, Jim Harbaugh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Jim. It's positive test results. He says, got us. All right, come on, dude. Uh, I call the orders he might drink a little less diet coke. I just saw his stat. I'm like, that's sad. He's not allowed to retire and he has to come back. I'd agree with you. A minute to do his picks and it's evolved. Into there we go. <laughs> We're finally here. Yeah. Amateur. Guys, what's even more sad about this? Although I've seen games come back already. Sad. So, anyway, so I've kind of taken this further this week. I'm going to let Chris pick. And if my pick's different, we're just gonna, I'm just going to come right out and say my All right, here we go. So-and-so. It only took, like, a couple well, minutes to get there. Thanks. Prime time Thursday. I'm shaking my head because I don't know. This is why I can't do this because this is a hard game. Uh, fuck, dude. So this week I'm going to bet on every team. Every team. Since I won last week. And then we'll go back to Moment the of truth, week. Alex. Uh, it's at the Saints. Olave might be out. I'm pretty sure Derek Carr is going to be out. Shahid's definitely going to be out. I'm going to have to go with Bo Nix and the Broncos. I did. Oh my god, you did! This. Oh my hold god! Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I kind of hope I'm wrong here. But I just feel like with everyone being injured. You know what? No. Oh. Yeah. I told oh, okay, okay. That's why. Against Alvin Kamara. I forgot to mark. Yeah, I said I got it. I mark said, it on my let side. Me just say I'm final. I'm, that's my final. That's answer. right. All right. Well then. You write a note. You didn't write your note. Yeah, I know. Well then. Hey, I should that should that should go with my record then. Uh, no. I did better than you this last week, so suck it. <laughs> My overall record's still better. Than yeah, you. it is. You're right. What is? Do you even have the overall record? <laughs> Not on me, no. Okay, let's just go into the next team, next game. Okay, before we do that, let's go to the our little injury list. I actually have quite a few injuries this week listed. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. Some of them you've already talked about, so we can just kind of like I'll just mention them. First one was Deshaun Watson on the Browns. Yeah, I think, honestly, and uh, listen, I don't like people getting hurt, but this is probably the best thing the Browns could have happened to the Browns. <laughs> That's bad. 
Like, no, seriously. I, I, mean, I know, I know what you mean. He has not done anything. Nick Chubb came back. I might have helped him a little bit, but that O line sucks. Yeah, I know what you mean. He's a most sacked quarterback. No wonder he got hurt. Yeah. Um. Next one, which you haven't mentioned this one yet, and I only did this because I knew his name. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster won't be available for this upcoming week. He has a hamstring hamstring injury. That doesn't surprise me, any. That guy's always hurt. Um, speaking of Derek Carr, I do have Derek Carr on my list. It says he took part in the throwing session and will throw again, and then they're going to reassess him. So what? I don't even remember what happened to him. What was what was his name? oblique? Oh yeah, yeah, dude, that sucks. Yeah, oblique injuries are not good, especially for a quarterback, dude. That's... Yeah. So, Christian McCaffrey had one last year, but, I mean, he can kind of get away with that yeah. kind of running back. But he's you know, not. Uh, well, I mean, you got to think your obliques here. So, when you start, like, twisting and throw the ball, I mean, that's... Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure that that... That hurt. Yeah. Like, so... Um, DK Metcalf on the Seahawks has a minor MCL sprain. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah, no. That's why when you mentioned him earlier, I made a face. <laughs> um, uh, Chris Godwin, of course. Which, why would you play him a dislocated ankle at the end of the game, dude? You just fucked your entire yeah. season right there. I'm with Marcus Spears on that, dude. Shout out to Marcus Spears, because he called that. He's calling that shit. He's right. You just fucked your career, or your season up. Um, And then, uh, last one on the Bucks is Mike Evans. Again, I wouldn't play Mike Evans. He had a hamstring injury already. Why yep. would you play him? Yep, that's what it's... Set him up. You're going against... Yeah, I know you need this win. I know you need it. You're going against Baltimore. Yeah. That's on the AFC side, dude. Just just relax a little bit. Ball out with everybody else. I mean, you can, obviously could have kept Godwin in, but I would have I sat Mike Evans, dude. Because now you just... Now you lost two wide receivers. Baker Mayfield's still going to... Ball out. I will say, Baker Mayfield. As long as his receivers can catch, not he like, he'll like, yeah. Not like to last year, Kansas City Chiefs. They can if they can catch the ball, he's still going to ball out. Yeah. Um, and then my last set of injuries. Uh, Debo Samuel Senior. It says he was discharged from the hospital. So. Yeah. Explain Which, what he had. He had pneumonia. Some form of pneumonia, fluid in the lungs. Yeah, I seen him at uh, the pregame warm-up, and then he, like, he was out there doing some shit, and then he just, like, kind of, like... Yeah. Kind of, like, kneeled over. I'm like, oh. Right. Yeah, pneumonia Pneumonia is no fun. So... I still call him a pussy. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I still call him a pussy. Well... But, like, <laughs> listen. I was just joking, all right? I'm a, I'm a big jokester. That's... Pneumonia, I know that shit's not gonna... That's That sucks. I never had it. It sucks. It. I've had it, like, two or three times. It sucks. But, like, I seen him, like I said, I seen him pregame, and he's kneeling down. I was like, that's not good. Yeah, I knew. He's hurting. Um, uh, I have this one on here, because there's literally no information attached to it. Uh, is it Juwan Jennings or Juan Jennings? Juwan Jennings. It just says questionable. His hip. I mean, I, I, it, it doesn't say anything else. It just says questionable. And obviously we got my Uke out for the season. Yes. So he. I'm so, he glad, I'm so glad we didn't trade for Amari Cooper. Who balled out, by the way? He didn't even know the one route. They told they, the, He had to ask the wide receiver for his touchdown. The touchdown with the Bills. He's, his first touchdown as the Bills. He looked over to his slot wide receiver and said, hey, what's the route? Oh my god. The guy, the guy gave him what the route he had to do. He scored a fucking touchdown. Like that's the wide receiver we just passed up on. Well yeah. technically technically it was Ayuk's decision. He didn't want to go. Yeah. But and then yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh last injury, which isn't necessarily uh Kittle has a sprained foot in his day to day. So Listen, in 2022, when we lost to the Kansas City Chiefs, and well, 2021, when we lost to him in the Super Bowl, we then lost to him in Week Seven. By the way, 
For yeah. The record. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, but hold on. We lost to them in the Super Bowl. Well, then lost to them the following year in Week Seven, and then didn't lose the game. Oh. So, oh. Okay. Just, now I'm not saying that's going to happen, but you got to keep the faith. Always keep the faith. However, the next five games for the 49ers is a fucking gauntlet, dude. We're going against Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Then I think it's a bye week after that, which is told we need that shit. Yeah, after I that, agree. McCaffrey, McCaffrey might be back. Um, Drake Greenlaw might be back. Oh, man. Hopefully, Hufaga is coming back. Um, but anyway, we got. I know we got Green Bay at some point. Um, I didn't really fully look at the schedule. I just know the next five games is not fun. Yeah. It is not fun, dude. So, if we can just beat the Cowboys. And you know what's fucked up? Okay, this is something I wanted to mention and I forgot. The fact that we just... Kansas City Chiefs just came off of a bye week. And we had to play them. So, they got a week's rest. And now, we had to go against them. Yeah. And now... Well, now we're going against the Dallas Cowboys. Who are just had a bye week. Bye week. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Like, why, why, does not, why does the fucking, I'm sorry, Kansas City Chiefs has the easiest schedule this year. And they're a the Super Bowl champ. Are, you, are they trying to get them to go undefeated? Yeah, they are. Like, I'm just. I would have, I would have, I would have preferred to see the Vikings continue a winning streak. No, not me. Uh, compared to the Chiefs, yeah, I would have preferred that. I, but I like the Lions, and I need the Lions to win. Well, no, no, I'm glad. I'm I'm glad the Lions won that. I'm glad that they. I I was I was very happy with that. But Listen, if, if the 49ers <laughs> don't get in the playoffs or lose in the playoffs, I want a Houston Texan Lions. That would be freaking awesome. And it's gonna suck because I wouldn't know who to root for. I know. <laughs> I want the Lions to win, but I also want C.J. Stroud to win because I also like. I like Tank Dell. Yeah. From a community college. I like D'Amico Ryans, who came from the head coach, by the way, who came from San Francisco. He was the defensive coordinator. And that's where Al Sayer came from. Okay. The reason he went to Houston was because of D'Amico Ryans. That was their linebacker coach. Not only was he the defensive coordinator, but he was also a linebacker coach. Again, why they picked up Devin White. Yeah. All right, well. Is that, is that the end of the injury list? Yep, that was it. All right, Alex, do your intro to this game. All right, here comes our little game for anyone that's new. <laughs> Jesus Christ. For anybody that's new, I have the games, all the upcoming NFL games for the week. I have my picks. Chris will have his picks. This is supposed to only last a minute, and it has evolved into something we just talk about. So hold tight with us. First game is Vikings at Rams. Vikings are winning that. That's who I have. Jets there at ain't no doubt about it. Jets at Patriots. I can't the wait. Jets are winning that. That's who I have. Uh, Packers at Jags. <laughs> Listen, if the Packers lose that shit, I'm going to laugh at So will I. It will be the Packers. I, I agree. <laughs> uh, Falcons at Bucks, which this one I had to think about. I don't have to think about it. Uh, Falcons. Okay. Um, they just lost their two wide receivers. You think I'm going to go with the Bucks? You're fucking joking me right no, now. No, I still have faith in Baker Mayfield. So I do too. But <laughs> I do too. But do you not listen to what I say about the Falcons? They I know. The number, the, I know. Probably the number one secondary in the league. Well, I would say maybe number two behind Green Bay right now. Um, Ravens at Browns. Ravens. <laughs> I don't even think I need to ask the next one, but Titans at Lions. The Lions. Oh, you didn't pick the Titans? No. <laughs> uh, Eagles at Bengals. This one I had to think about, too. And that's the game we're going to bet on. I'm going to have to say probably the Eagles. I don't think the Bengals could stop the run, and you got Barkley on the other side of that. So, Okay. 
I have. I'm, the, going, I'm going with the Bengals. I have Eagles. I have the Bengals winning. I mean, I kind of hope the Bengals do win, but I, I feel like realistically, you think. Uh, you can't stop the run. You ain't stopping the pass. Right. Um, Cardinals at Dolphins. Cardinals. That's who I have. Colts at Texans. This was another kind of hard one for me. I have the Texans. That's who I have. <laughs> Bills at Seahawks. Bills. That's who I have. Saints at Chargers. Another one I kind of had to think about for a minute. Well, no, the, the next thing is we got a couple. He's not on the injury list, no. Who? Derek Carr, but he is questionable. Alvin Kamara is questionable as well. See, this is where it gets tough because I don't know if Derek Carr. This is this is a one problem having this podcast on a Wednesday because you don't know who's gonna play. Yeah, I know. Um, make a side note because I'm gonna make a pick, but I want you to understand what I'm gonna say here. If Derek Carr and Alvin Kamara play, I'm going with the Saints. Okay. If they don't play, okay. Let me. I, I'm gonna go with the Chargers. So you said Derek Carr. This is for week eight. Week eight. All right. I have the Saints winning, so I did pick the Saints. Yeah, and I I understand. I mean, I'm just saying that that Justin Herbert just balled out. He had a damn good game. He has no wide receivers, so the fact that he still threw over two yards, I think it's great. So. Again, if, it's a toss up, isn't it? It is because again, if Derek Carr is not playing, I don't have too much faith in the quarterback I watched. That's Thursday fair. Night. That's I'm fair. That's Riddler, fair. Um. All right. Well, I have it written down. I have a little side note written down. Uh, Chiefs or sorry, Bears at Commanders. Uh, if Jaden Daniels is playing, which I think they said that he's pretty sure he's good to go. Okay. It's gonna, oh man, that's a tough matchup there. I, you know, I'm gonna go with the commanders. That's who I, hey, guess, yeah, I, guess I, what I, I just see, found. I the Bears winning, but. Guess what I just found? Huh. My little note that says Chris picked the Saints. <laughs> um, anyways, Chiefs at Raiders. I don't even think we need to talk about this one. Uh, actually, we do, because the Raiders is their kryptonite. Really? Oh, well, I think I do remember you saying that. Well, I have the Chiefs winning, they so. Lost, they lost last year against the Raiders when they needed the win. Well, if the Raiders win, it'll be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I would love it. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm going with Kansas City, of course. Yeah, I'm, I picked the Chiefs as well. Seven hours ago, Dan Quinn said Daniels did not or will not participate in practice. So that's a little scary. Yeah, for that her. is a little scary. Do they have to participate in practice to play? No. Okay. They have to have, they have, to have an injury report, I think, in by Friday. I think. I okay, think. okay. To see if they're able to play. Okay. They, like, reassess them on Friday, basically. Yeah. In they, a, gotta in have a... A... They, can, they can be questionable till literally day of. But they gotta have that on, like, some kind of report. Okay. So he's, he's already questionable, so. Okay. Um, Panthers at Broncos. I'm picking the Broncos. Yeah, so did I. Hey, Alex. I'm picking the Broncos. Shut the fuck up. And then last but, well, not really last, but Giants at Steelers. If the Steelers lose this game. I, I have the Steelers winning. If the Steelers lose this game, they're the worst team. Uh, I, I don't disagree. 
And that's why Russ shouldn't start. So, yes, I'm going with the Steelers. I also am going with the Steelers. So, really... I'm going against Lord Fuckwad. I mean, there's no way you should lose that game. Um. So, yeah, so basically the only two games that we had something picked different was the Buccaneer game and the Eagles game. You had the Eagles, I had the Bengals, and I had the oh. Bucks, and you had the Falcons. YouTube, stay tuned. I'm going to actually do two bets this week. Um, I'm going to do one on my FanDuel because I did cash out. Okay? I did cash out. And J.K. Dobbins did not score on Monday, so I'm glad I did cash out. I cashed out five for 50. Well, not much, but I'm going to go ahead and do an all-out, again, Thursday to Monday parlay. Oh, boy. So, well, because I feel pretty good about the Thursday game. Vikings better win that motherfucker. Yeah. Unless the Lions broke the Vikings. Uh, and that's a possibility. Yeah, look at the Eagles last year. The Eagles were balling until they played 49ers, and then they were like... Uh-oh. Cow, cow. <laughs> uh, so. Now, hold on. And last but certainly not least, we have the Cowboys at the 49ers. So, actually, you know, I don't really want to talk about the 49ers game, of course. It is my team. <laughs> But there was a uh, Sunday Night Football on Instagram actually posted something really good about this. They asked, who needs this win more? Oh. The Cowboys or the 49ers? Now, Ooh. everybody knows I'm a 49er fan, so I'm going to... I like that question. A, I'm going to take a lean back here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you guys as a sports analyst and not a biased 49er fan. If I'm looking at this game, and I don't like the NFL, or I don't really follow. Well, I, I follow the NFL, but I don't have a team. I'm going to say the Cowboys actually need this win more than anything. See, and I'm going to disagree because the last thing I need to hear now is, "Oh, it's our year! It's our year! We them boys." <laughs> no, they've been they've been very quiet this year. They have the only been. The reason I say they need this win is because the last couple of years the 49ers have been beating them up. Okay. The overall record is pretty well tied. Hmm. Excuse me. They're pretty well tied. I think it's like 20, 19, and 1 between the matchups of 49ers and Cowboys. <laughs> However, this year, this year just alone, the Cowboys need this win over the 49ers. One, because back in 2022, whatever season I was just talking about when they lost to Kansas City and they came back, uh, that was the year that they played the Cowboys in the, I don't know if it was divisional. I can't remember if it was a wild card divisional round and Dak Prescott had a chance to win the game for him and slides. Well, remember that was the year that well, I was cheering because Dak Prescott's an idiot. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he slid. And I mean, you have to, dude, you have to know your time. And he, he just didn't. He slid. Time ran out. That was the last play of the game. What an idiot. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, well, then they lose. They haven't beat them in the last four or five years. So, I think in order to get the Cowboys confidence up, they need to win this game. Okay, that's that's fair. And, and the, reason, the reason they have a chance to win this game is look how beat up the Niners are. They're coming off a bye week. <laughs> Did you see? Coming off a bye week and the 49ers is completely torn up. Speaking of the 49ers being torn up, did you see that post I tagged you in or that comment? The 49ers new logo this year? It's a little handicapped guy. (laughs) I about died when I saw it. (laughs) This game is the battle of the crippled because there's a lot of Cowboys in there too. (laughs) Cowboys defense is so injured and the offense is so injured. This is the handicap uh, game. Pretty much, pretty much, what's gonna happen is the Cowboys defense is beat up. 49ers offense is beat up, so there's that's a battle of the cryptid. Uh, yeah, the crippled, and then, I mean, our defense isn't beat up, but it is beat up. It's, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just completely opposite. Cowboys offense looks good. Our defense looks good. Well, I don't want to say it looks good, but injury-wise, it looked good. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Well, if there's anything else you want to talk about as far as NFL. 
That should be. Are we on to the hockey? We are on to hockey now. So, normally we would just talk about um, tonight's games for hockey because there's so many during the week. Uh, but the only game tonight is the Flyers at the Capitals. So, Ooh. what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about last night's game. Yes, you guys, yes. You guys can just have at that, I figure. It was, what would they call that yesterday? It was uh, Hockey Day or something? Uh, hockey Frenzy. Hockey Frenzy. Or like 16 games, I think, or something? So... Just real quick, though, on the, on the whole NHL thing. Capitals at Flyers have been Flyers at Capitals today. That's got to be tough on the fucking... Oh, yeah. Well, the, you'll see throughout the season that's that's what they do. There's it, there's always two teams that will do back-to-back games like that. Oh, I, I noticed that on the schedule, too, but it's like, that's crazy because not both teams got to travel after the game. Yep. I love it. I think that's awesome. And that, and that could be, you know, terrible if you're like... Say you're on the East Coast and you got to go to the West Coast. Yeah, but that's the thing. If it's back to back, you're still both traveling. It doesn't matter at that. No, oh, yeah, I know. Which I know. Is, which I think is awesome to me. Like I, I don't know. But uh, we'll we'll talk about the Utah and Penguins games last. Let's go ahead with the Gold Knights beating up on the Kings, bro. I don't know if you watched part oh, of that or any I highlights. Mean- I didn't get to watch it, but uh, I see the final score, and that's that enough said. Yeah, I thought the Kings at least would have held out, but I mean the Golden Knights been looking pretty fucking strong, dude. Like holy oh, they're, fuck, they're they're a fantastic team. I think they've gone to the playoffs every year since they started, which was like twenty sixteen, I think. Like if I was gay, I would totally be for the Golden Knights. I just can't. I just can't get over that name, the Golden Knights. They do have a good name. Like, I mean, yeah, but it's so generic to me. <laughs> Watch out! It's the Golden Knights. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm like, good. Nah. Wait, 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 wait. But you, but Utah Hockey Club isn't generic. Not to mention that, I'm like, but wait, cool. <laughs> Yeah, but but there is the inaugural season. They're changing their name next year. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be like the Utah Bears or something. You watch? <laughs> did, you see, did you see the mascot? Did you watch the game, Alex? No, you didn't. Fuck you no, I slept. What is their mascot? I actually never saw. It was a fucking bear. He was handing out like bananas or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing, dude? Okay. Sounds well, like my kind of it, team. It looked, like, it looked like a bear, or it could have been a Sasquatch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna Whatever look it up. It, is, it was fucking cool, dude. It looked like Chewbacca, sort of. Yeah. Okay. So last night, I, I, I saw some stats today. They said last night there were 96 goals scored throughout all the games. That's holy fuck. Like that may not seem like a lot, but that that's a lot considering. Like looking at the scores too, there are a lot of high scoring games. So, uh, we got another hockey expert, actually. They're in my Twitch chat. Mr. Marcus. I just hey, told him Marcus. Podcast. Hey, yeah. Marcus. So, he says, last seven years, they made the playoffs and nights, but they are so bought out for the winning the Stanley Cup. Oh. What's up, Alex? So, the Utah Hockey Club, as of, like, yesterday, does not have... A mascot officially does not no, have a don't mascot. Have, they don't have, it's not an official mascot. That's why I said I think he's, it's going to be a bear. He is he is the mascot for the Jazz Bears, Utah Jazz. Yeah, he's just uh, he's doing double basketball. duty. He's doing he's, double. He's a basketball. Player. Yes, yeah, and he is a bear. Yes. Yep. He's going to be a bear. I'm telling you. I mean, it would just fit the whole narrative. It, it, it would. It would. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, although, that? although it'd be funny as hell as to see a mascot as a Mormon dude. I, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Capitals beat the Flyers, which I'm not. I know uh, you guys beat them. The Capitals. Beat them. They whooped them. <laughs> they're looking. They're looking mighty fine this year. Yeah, cap- Capitals are usually pretty. They're a pretty decent team every year. Um, the Flyers, though, oh, 
Oh, they are last on Metropolitan Division. That is Yeah, rough. they're not looking they're not looking so hot, which I don't give a yeah. fuck because it's Philadelphia, okay? Listen, I'm not a right. Philadelphia fan at all, dude. I don't give a fuck. The same, same, same. I don't like Philadelphia Eagles. I don't like Philadelphia Flyers. I don't like Philadelphia <laughs> Like fuck that whole state. So, so I just I just fuck got I just we have to like we're 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 West Pennsylvania. They're East Pennsylvania. <laughs> West side. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I just got on Facebook just to refresh the page. And this is what came up on my Facebook. This week, we have 16 NFL games, 3 World Series games, 41 NBA games, and 49 NHL games. Huh. That's, a, a, that's a lot of sports. <laughs> they barely just made the list, but Washington beat them playoff spot last year yeah so yeah. marcus watches hockey like it's religion and i love yeah, it. Yeah. I, like i said i'm just getting into it marcus so i'm like i'm learning a lot and it is so fun to watch um so we have the next game on my list we have the wild beating the panthers which i mean oh. record record standpoint i thought it was going to be a better game but yeah i thought i i was because i saw that was the game i was watching but i started yesterday and I was like, you know, it's still low score. I'm like, okay, I imagine the Panthers are going to come back and uh, tie the game up. And uh, well, <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. They're Minnesota's goalie this year. I mean, they've been using, uh, I don't know which one their main goalie is. I don't know if Flurry's the main goalie or I can't remember the other one's name off the top of my head. Flurry's the which- only goalie. For any of the teams. For any of the teams. He's the only goalie. He plays every game. Right. <laughs> Which, whatever his name, I, I wish I could remember his name. I, I gotta get better at names, remembering names, but uh, all I gotta say is he was phenomenal yesterday. Forsberg. Flower and Forsberg. That's Forsberg. what okay. that's what Mar- uh, Jamarcus just said. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jamarcus. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, but then the Panthers scored, and I was like, "Okay, here it comes. They're gonna they're gonna tie the game up. It's actually gonna be a close game." And then Minnesota kept scoring. I was like, "Okay, this game <laughs> okay." Is it like third period, I'm like, yep, "This game is finished, probably." <laughs> one, I think. I know. I know. Uh, wait a minute here. Hold on. I know Forsberg was a uh, uh, goal goal yesterday for uh, Ottawa. He did really good last night. Cause, like I said, we had uh, oh. we had like fucking forty some shots, forty shots, to twenty shots in the second after the second period, and still no goal. Oh yes, but uh, I also I also got the number wrong, of goals wrong. It was ninety eight goals scored yesterday. Damn, and that is out of nine hundred and fifty eight shots. And then Woo! the first goal was scored at 614 by Nick Dowd, and the last goal was scored by Bar- Barbashev at 1.36 a.m. Barbashev. <laughs> Barbashev. Barbashev. But yeah, that, that Minnesota Wild game was actually pretty shocking. The Panthers did so bad. And I, I noticed something yesterday when watching the games that I did. It seemed like the crowds weren't that excited at all. Weren't that into it? Yeah. Oh, yes, and there was a hat trick yesterday, too. Oh! Let's see who scored that. Those are my favorites. It sucks seeing fucking the wild win like that, though, because they're my fucking division. I was like, dude. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, Marcus, I really thought the Panthers were going to fuck a little bit. I I was expecting... should have expected uh yeah yeah it is gustafson or however you say his name for oh, okay okay yeah i was expecting the panthers to win because i was like okay i feel like the panthers will beat minnesota as much as i like minnesota but well i was expecting them to at least show up <laughs> right right at least at least keep it neck and neck but not get absolutely obliterated <laughs> And then we have the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Devils, which the Lightning is Marcus's team. And I was going to say, team. Lightning is Marcus's team. Yes, it is. 
Because I, I always see your, you playing that, Marcus. Yep. All right, so, that. so this is a fun fact, Marcus. I actually talked to you uh, about you at work. And my buddy uh, at work, he's a huge sports fanatic. Um, I love talking to him about any sport. I mean, hell, we could be talking. We could literally talk about fucking tennis at work, me and him. So he asked me a really good question. He said, your buddy from Canada likes the Tampa Bay Lightning. I said, yeah. My Canadian friend likes the Tampa Bay Lightning. He said, how are you Canadian but like a Tampa Bay team? So I have to ask you, what made you like yeah. Tampa Bay Lightning? And because shout out. You're so out. far away from Florida, dude. It really is. Shout out to my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Charlie White, Moist Critical. Oh my God, he was there. <gasps> no, he wasn't at that one. He was at the uh, oh, Monday one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tampa Bay didn't win that one. I did see he. I saw on TikTok he was there, and he yeah, was, was like, like the they sh they showed him, they showed him, and he was just like a little girl, was like. like ah! <laughs> yeah, was shy. It was so awesome. <laughs> But yeah, I have to ask that question, Marcus, because when he when he asked me, I was like, you know what? Question, because again, this is my first year in the whole hockey, so that's why I picked a Utah club. But I just had to ask that. And yeah, the Lightning, fucking yeah, they were they were on fire yesterday. Although the Devils, they were putting up a fight. It looks like I didn't watch that towards game. Towards the end, yeah, towards the end, Devils. Got five goals out of that, even though Lightning, they were scoring, scoring, scoring. Got well, eight. I mean, once you get, uh, like, I was watching the Utah game. I mean, once you get up so high, you just keep, it's just keep away at that point. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's logical, smart playing there. Yeah, so. just throw a fucking couple shots at the goal. You don't need to put up 40 yep. shots like fucking Utah was. Dude, I'm yeah. telling you, Forsberg yesterday, there was nothing getting by him. I'm telling you, if you if there was a stat line at the bottom I sent you and Marcus last night on Snapchat that they do a percentage of shots per goal, how many shots and like they have like this tracking or whatever that how many would should go in? It was like 1.9 should they should have been scoring. Damn per, per yeah. shot. I'm like, dude, they're fucking well, they're... shooting. Yeah, I was gonna say so. Yeah, I was. <clears throat> Uh, it was back when I was. It was the 2010-2011 run. My old team ruined it for me. I needed a new team back then. <laughs> Hell, let loose. Sorry, in the city of Vancouver, lost. Okay, so it was just back then when you were like, you know what? I just need a new team. Hey, it happens. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. It does happen. Um, the Dallas Stars losing, which that made me happy because again. They're in my division. Uh, they lost to the Sabres, which I really thought the Stars was going to win. Because th they were looking, <clears throat> I, again, yeah, they I were thought, looking good. I thought that could have went either way. Max oh. lost to Boston Bruins. Fine. Oh, yeah. Um, That's embarrassing because the Panthers were 0-5. Jesus. I'm like, that's uh uh Yeah, yeah. with the, the Sabres beating the stars like I yesterday. Like I said, I was watch I watched the first period until my game came on. Uh-huh. And I mean the stars was literally just running them over, it feel like I, they didn't score, but you can tell when a team is doing good. I mean, you could like Utah. Utah was doing amazing last night. They just couldn't get oh. it in the fucking goal. Yeah. I mean, I mean, when a goal is on, and the goal is on. I mean, right, right. I mean, fair enough. It does happen. So yeah, it was just bad, bad night for Utah. Uh, Rangers beating the Canadians. Oh, they whooped which, them. Yeah, there wasn't even a. They should have just left. They should have just forfeited before you <laughs> started. Uh, Maple Leafs got blown out by the Blue Jackets. Yes, they did. The Blue Jackets and the Rangers, they were like, all right. Six to two, that game was. Red Wings beat the Islanders, which. Uh, look, look at that score for that game. One nothing. 
That's yeah, in a... the first first period. I was happy for that loss. Uh, the Jets beat the Blues, and they are undefeated. They don't even yes, got they are. six and zero, oh, baby. Woo! I figured. Yeah. I figured, uh, Marcus, you were talking about Toronto losing. Uh, yeah. I, I can't, I don't know. It just fucking blows my mind. That sucks because uh, guess where the Jets are? In my division. So, uh, fuck you, Winnipeg. <laughs> um, yeah, your uh, you're hockey club there, Chris. It's. I mean, they're they're not too far. I mean, they could easily catch up, of course. They're oh, yeah. Game. I mean, they've they got a long they, team. They, yeah. if, they get one, if they get another win, then they're, are, they're up at second. And, I mean, the Blues, that was actually a divisional game because the Blues is in the division, too. So Yeah. And now That's they're about five. So close. Yeah. Uh, Canucks and Black Blackhawks, which I'm again. I'm glad the Blackhawks lost because that's in my division. I'm still learning my divisions here. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, Avalanche beating the Kraken, which again that game could have went either way. I mean, they both kind of. Yeah, won. yeah, it could have. Mm-hmm. The they're really. Predators could've. beating the Bruins. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, that's embarrassing because Predators were zero and five. So, yeah, and I mean the Bruins aren't doing great. They're not. They're, I mean, they're they're three three and three right now. But yeah, Connor Bedard want to be in Vancouver so badly. He says, <laughs> "Yeah, but I mean to get shut out by a team that didn't win, at least score one goal." Fucking four nothing. Yeah. Hurricanes beating the Oilers. Yeah, I figured that game would have went. Yeah, I don't know. To me, that could have went either way. Yeah. Uh, let's see where the Oilers at. Oh yeah, they're. Hurricanes the beat the win. Sharks. The Sharks hasn't won. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Let's keep an unbeaten. Let's keep a the team that won in there. Yeah, let, let's make the Sharks the first franchise to never win a game this season. Let's just keep it going. If that happens, you've heard it here first. If the sh- Sharks lose, I'm making a bet right now since it's my first season of watching. I'll give everybody here 50 bucks. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, Marcus, you heard it here. If the that Sharks go oh it. Zero wins all season, Ethan. Now, now Alex. watch. When I watch, they're gonna win the rest of the season. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, that'd be fucking hilarious. They're not my division, are they? No, I don't care if they no. win the rest of the season. Then, uh, they're not even. Oh, they're in my conference, so I don't know if that's a. I don't know how the playoffs work, so we'll see. We'll see how that works. But yeah, fucking ducks beat the sharks. If they are losing again all season, they're probably going for another draft pick, <laughs> I'd say. Uh, so, yeah, we'll talk about the Utah club first since it didn't go into an overtime or whatever. Uh, they just got their ass pounded. Yeah, they did. Um, Senators definitely showed up last night to play. Uh, yeah, like I said, I that goalie. Not. Yeah, goalie Frostberg. Yeah, he's he's nasty. Dude was nasty yesterday. Yeah, yeah um, I remember you messaging me and saying that their, their goalie was just – he. He just won't let any shots pass. So just just hear me out. I, again, I'm new at hockey, so I, I these names are fucking wild to me. Uh, oh, there's some even wilder. Every time Melton. I come back and watch, there's there's a new name. I'm just like, holy crap. Carol Vejmelka. Uh, he's from Czechia. Czechia? Czech? Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, he's really good. Okay, he comes in. They usually put him in the second period. Oh, okay. So far, so far, every time they put him in a second period and plays a second and third period, there's no no goals. Hmm. Um, last night he had 14 saves, 14 shots, 14 saves, no nothing. So I think they're gonna. I think they talked about starting him instead of the other guy, and I think they need to because that dude he was pretty good. I've been watching him. He's he's all right. He's all right. Not Ingram. Uh, the Senators have woken up over after years from what it looks like from the previous seasons. Yeah, I mean they're they're four and two right now. I mean they they looked pretty good last night. But again, when you got a goalie in there that 
I'm not I'm not a big fan of Ingram right now. Especially when you got a player that they say that he comes in the second period and they don't score. Like that's mm-hmm. saying something. That's that's the goal you want to start with, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so the Penguins game. Mm, yes, let's talk about the Penguins. So first off, I'm pissed off about the NHL for making it a blackout game, so I could not watch it. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why it was a blackout game. We're literally in Pennsylvania. Well, it's because we're in Pennsylvania. That's why. Like, they want us to. They want us to watch it on that fucking channel. You have to pay for. Which, which is stupid. Like, can you? Like, come on. It, let, it, let me watch you, this. You might be able to answer this, Ethan, but you you may not know the answer. Can you still listen to NHL games? Because I remember. When I couldn't yeah. watch the pens, I would always just listen to it. And that was yeah. enough for me. I could listen to it. No, I have to see. I have to see. I can't follow it when it's on the radio. But, yes, you, you can get on. Because the other okay. day when I had a black game, I did turn it on for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can still listen to it on their app. See, you can't do that with NFL. You can't listen to the games. You have to. I tried to find the games the other you day. You have the NFL app. It's, you, I mean... Yeah, but I didn't need an NHL app to listen. I could just go to their website and listen. So I will be that would still be you can. Yeah, but I yes, but I was on NFL's website and it, I couldn't find where I could listen to it anywhere. NFL Plus, you don't need to have NFL Plus, but you can still listen to the games. Oh, weirdo! They got two good goalies and senators now. That was a part of a great goalie tandem in Boston the previous years, and Swayman and Olmark. Oh yeah. So this, I'm glad Marcus is here. He can uh, he can share all these little facts with us. Yeah, I don't know a lot of people. I just know Keller and I. Ed. I do recognize those names. Yeah, th- those those two are. And it looks like Washington just scored. Yes, they did. One nothing right now. Blech. I don't know if they just scored, but. No, out of out of the Flyers and the Capitals, I will I will vote the Capitals. Oh wow! Time. As I mean, I know they're a rival team, but a little bit more uh, rival because you know same oh, state, yeah. oh, same yeah. state rivals, baby. They can see each other, but the Flyers, fuck the Flyers. Their fans suck. Fuck Philadelphia. <laughs> oh, I don't. Marcus, this is not directed towards you. It's directed to a, my other buddy named Marcus. Hey, yo, fuck them boys. <laughs> <laughs> Every week. We're playing, them. We're playing them this week, and I am going to say that even if we lose, fuck Dallas and fuck them boys. Oh, shit. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, though, the Sharks actually may win. They're going against the LA Kings. Dun, 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 dun. dun. So it's going to be a really shitty game, most likely. Most likely. Uh, so we really can't t- talk much more about hockey besides tonight's game. And yeah, I, I didn't see any I I have... didn't see any controversial calls this week, like last week. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see too much either. Marcus, I, mean... I don't know if you saw that goal last week with the Minnesota game, but that to me was oh, where he pushed it in with his yeah with, the, against Kraken. Yeah, but that was awful. Like that was waiting. You could tell he kicked it in, but screw the refs for that call. Oh, I slipped and my pussy hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that I just kicked the hockey puck in the goal. <laughs> Fucking come on, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know. Like I so said, there's not too much more we can talk about besides uh, predicting tonight's game, and I, I've obviously have. Washington winning tonight. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna pick the Caps over the Flyers anytime. So, is there wait? Is there games oh. on tomorrow? Oh wait, wait, wait! But yeah, there's a lot of games play? on. Oh, one more thing about the Pens and the Flames. Um, the Pens should have won. The Pens should have won last night, but as All usual, right. the Pens uh, showed up for yeah. two for two periods, and then they were like, no. All right, yeah, we'll give up. yeah, we give up. We're done. They then they blew. They do this all the time. This is their and then their defense. I don't know. They need to do something about their defense. They have the goalie issue figured out. Just don't put Jari in. Pro- problem solved. 
but that whole fiasco with their defense, they just they need to play defense. <laughs> Plain and simple. So yeah, they shouldn't have lost because if I remember what I saw, they were like two ahead and then they just blew it and then they lost in overtime. Yeah, he says Flames have been on fire this season. Yes, they Star have. As well for the season. So I yes, yes well. they have. I, I agree with that, Marcus. That's They have been doing way better than they usually do. So let's let's fly through this here real quick. Um, let's just go through tomorrow's games who we have winning. We have Avalanche at the Utah Hockey Club. Of course, you guys know I'm picking Utah. Oh, I'll, I'll pick the Utah Hockey Club, baby. Uh, Marcus, feel free to show your picks, too. We'll see how good me and Ethan are to your picks. Uh, we have Stars at the Bruins tomorrow. Um, I'm picking the Stars for that one. Mm, uh, I don't know the way they the way they started out yesterday. I just I don't know. I didn't really watch the Bruins. That's the only reason I'm picking them because, like I said, I was watching part of. I was watching. Oh, I'll do the Bruins because I didn't really watch the Stars yet this season. So yeah, the Stars looked hot yesterday. They just again they just lost. Just couldn't get. Uh, Blues and Maple Leaves. Uh, Marcus is going to Utah. Blues and Maple Leafs. I'm going to pick the Maple Leafs just because Marcus loves Toronto. No, <laughs> I'm actually – that's a tough one. I need the Blues that to is. lose during my division. Yeah. I, I think – I don't know. I, I feel it's a pretty evenly matched. I yeah, that's, that's why I'm like, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the Maple Leafs. I, I feel like they'll, they'll play tomorrow. I feel the Blues are going to win just because it's in my division. That's why I'm picking the Blues. <laughs> uh, the Devils at the Red Wings. I'm picking the New Jersey Devils because they're just, I don't know. I will do the, yeah, I'll do the Devils. Why not? Man, I haven't watched either of those teams play this yet either. Wild at Lightning. I'm picking Lightning. And not because it's Marcus's team, but just the way they played yesterday it was Oh, yeah, they did show up. Uh, I don't know that. I mean, Wild showed up too. So yeah, I, they, I, I mean, it's they gonna both, be a good game. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a good game, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll. Uh, you know, know what? Another reason I'm picking Toronto or Lightning is because they're two and zero at home, and yeah, I'll, Wild's I'll, three and zero at I'll home do, or away. I'll do the so. Lightning. Okay. Just for just for Marcus, I'll do Lightning. I feel like it's gonna be a good game because. Like I said, Lightning's two and at home, and Wild's three and away. So I mean, they're they're coming to play, Marcus. Oh, yeah. You better be ready. <laughs> uh, Panthers at Rangers. I'm not going against the Rangers right now. There's no way. No, it's no, I wanna, especially how the Panthers played yesterday. Uh yeah, but it's I, I gotta Rangers. go. I gotta go with the Rangers with that one. Like I don't know how it is in hockey, but home field advantage means a lot sometimes. Oh yeah. They definitely uh, don't. Unless you're the Panthers. Unless you're the Panthers. versus Flames. The way the Flames played yesterday, I'm going with the Flames. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll do the underdog here. I'll do the Hurricanes. So Jets no. at the Kraken. I'm going Jets because they're going undefeated. The whole yeah, I, and if they lose to Kraken, that's that's just as embarrassing as losing to the Predators. And you know what? It's Kings versus Sharks, and I'm going against the fucking Sharks, motherfucker. Yep, we're going go to go Kings. Come I want the Kings. Sharks to lose, bitches. Come on, Kings. Show up tomorrow. <laughs> so y'all might want to mark this podcast down because if the Sharks do end up going zero wins this season, I'm going to have to pay up my bet. So Chris will, too. Chris will. Kings, Kings are winning that shit. <laughs> but. That's all the hockey games for tomorrow. That's all I'm going to go with because we got to get to our beyond the bell segment here so so he says panthers and hurricanes and the jets lose finally and sharks he's going to sharks (laughs) he don't want that 50 he doesn't want that shit all right alex you ready for the beyond the bell segment i sure am 
<laughs> All right, Marcus. Since you're here, we talk about WWE. I don't know if you watch a lot of WWE, but Beyond the Bell is our WWE segment. So we're going to kick it right off probably with whatever Alex goes with first. And I think that's usually the past SmackDown. Yes, yep, that's exactly what it is. SmackDown Raw, and then we do the previews. Unless there's a pay-per-view, of course, and we do the pay-per-view, but... Um, last week's SmackDown started off with Pretty Deadly versus DIY versus Street Profits. Is that the first Ooh. match that DIY has been back on for? I know. Uh, pretty Deadly, I mean. I think so, yeah, because when I, yeah, when I they was... they haven't been around, yeah. They've been there, like, here and there, like, doing little, like... They're just, Back like, in the stage. background, yeah. Yeah, right, right. Like, they're there, but they're not doing anything, I guess. Yeah, they uh, have a mad... D- DIY one, which I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I like DIY. So, um, next match was Piper Niven versus Lash Legend. Uh, Legend getting the win on on Niven. Lash Legend. Who the hell is? She? I I don't know who Lash Legend is. I assume she's from I... NXT. No, I think. Cause they had that uh, so during that tag team tournament, they had a team from uh, Impact Wrestling on there. So oh, another yeah, Impact. yeah, I remember mm. something like that. I think, happening. yeah, I think Impact and WWE have like decided to to oh, be wow. okay. Well, it's over. nice to see Piper Niven coming back. Honestly, I'd actually like Piper Niven again. That's probably because she's from Glass. We always we always laugh with her faces. Oh, oh yeah. my god, yeah, yes. That one, that one face she does, or her, like, grimace or whatever. Yeah! Like, what? I knew exactly <laughs> which face when you said that, too. Um, next match was A-Town Down Under versus La- uh, Los Gar- Garzas? I can't, sorry, I can't sorry, pronounce. Yeah. Versus uh, Motor City Machine Guns, which is the new tag team yeah, from that's the NXT. From that's from Impact. Oh, why did I think they were from NXT? I'm pretty sure they're from Impact Wrestling. I think they are too. Uh, it's Al- you, you were right. It was Alex Shelley and Alex um, Shelley and Raven. So the you know the rumors was true. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're from Impact. Why did I think they were from NXT? It's just. Because NXT, there's so many NXT people that come over, probably. Yeah, there are. Uh, Motor City Machine Guns did win. So that's a nice little debut for them. It was, kinda, it was a fun match to watch, too, honestly. It was a damn good match to watch. Uh, next match was Nia Jax and Candice LeRae versus Naomi and Bailey. Which, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Nia Jax got mad that Candice LeRae was the one that pinned her. But I think you're right. Yeah. You got to win, bitch. Sit down. Right. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. So, wait, 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 wait. Uh, the other day, you mentioned... Uh, who's Candice LeRae's husband? You mentioned her... Oh, uh, my God. Uh, said who it was, and I was like... Jo- oh, isn't it Johnny Gar- Gargano? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's honestly okay. My personal opinion, that's a super cute couple. I think because I, I like Johnny. Hold on, really yeah, like, Johnny Gargano. Yeah, I really like Johnny Gargano. Gar- Gar- I do too. I I do too. I like Johnny Gargle. Gargle. Oh yeah, because I remember that that match they were doing uh, <laughs> a few weeks ago, and yeah, and yeah, Anderson and her and their baby was there, so. It was before he went out for that match. Yeah. She's like 39, by the way. Really? <laughs> Could have fooled oh, me. Yeah. I'm almost certain. Let me look. Of course, I was, I was just on her page. Hold on. Somebody somebody is 39, and I was like, there's no way. She's, she's 39. Old. She is. Her it says she's 39. 39. Bro, that like huh. blew my mind. Johnny? Yeah, how old is Johnny? Though? He's 37. I literally just got on his stuff to look. 
He doesn't look like he's 37. Dude, he doesn't even look like he's close to 40 at all. He looks yeah, like, like, like 29. They both look like they're young. He looks, he looks, yeah, he looks like he's our age. I agree. Maybe a little older, but not. Yeah. Good on them, you know? Like, I thought, I, I mean, <laughs> just saying. I never would expect a Candace to rate me in 39. And I yeah. don't like provoke me to look that up. I don't, I just do that sometimes. Cause I was like, so do oh, I. Not. I said, Johnny's not far from her then. I knew she was in the 30s, but I couldn't remember who was 39. I know, I knew Candace was either 37 or 39. Cause I was yeah. Like, Johnny, too. So, um, yeah, I was like, holy fuck. Yeah. And then obviously you got the fucking bloodline beating down Roman Reigns. Yes, like of, yes, of course, of course. Like, can we get a different ending on SmackDown? Or can we? No. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the same shit. No. Oh, here comes, no, here that's comes the bloodline. Oh no! What's no, going it's illegal for them to do another ending. I'm telling you, Jimmy and Jimmy and Jay's gonna team up, take the tag team titles back. You know? I know. Yeah. No, don't worry. We're gonna get into fucking Jimmy and Jay. Well, I don't want to end them, but I'll talk about them. You don't want in them? No. Maybe oh, Jay. well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways. Uh, uh, Raw this past week. Uh, the tag team number one contenders match was New Day versus Authors of Pain. Our main man, Our truth came out. Beat the shit out of The Miz. Thank God. I like The Miz, though. I, I can't really complain too much. I've always kind of liked The Miz, but... Yeah, but then they beat up Archers. Yeah, I know, I know. And Xavier Wood stopped Kofi Kingston yet again from trying to intervene after... But then... But then... But then the Wyatt Six... It just got, like, really quiet... I'm gonna tell you right now, and that fucking I I, I called. I looked at her eyes and why six come? Why six come? Why six? And then boom, when it got quiet and you just see the little fire fight, dude, I freak the fuck out. I get chills. He does. It's Maybe hilarious. A, maybe a slight boner, but you know. Just <laughs> um. Next match was Damage Control versus Ra uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. With it ended in a no contest. Yeah, because they attacked uh, that other tag team. I know which one you're talking about too. Lash Legend and Jakara. Yeah, that's from NXT. Where ringside once again to watch Damage Control one night before they clash on NXT. Hmm. Huh. So yeah, she goes over. I think what was it, Eo? Was it E.S. Scott that went over there and smacked, uh, smacked one of them? I and think. Pulled her out and, like, dropped her. I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't know, but I, if Liv Morgan loses her title, I'm okay with that. As long as Liv and Raquel team up and get the tag team titles. Because that was, I'm telling you, when I started watching wrestling again and Liv and Raquel was tag team title champs, that was the best time for the women's division because you have a giant and Liv Morgan. Like, Raquel just throws, just throws Liv. It's like the best combination ever. Oh, yeah. Throws her, what the hell they call it? I don't know what they call it, but they... Second people. Oh, man. And, well, it's, it's just Liv Morgan. Like, it's... Livy Morgan. Lesbian mermaid. Lesbian mermaid. Um, uh, go ahead, Alex. Keep going. Next, I don't want to talk about this. Next match was another tag team number one contenders match. Uh, LWO versus American Maid. Uh, Mysterio and Lee did defeat American Maid then. Which I was actually kind of shocked. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I kind of... And then last but certainly not least... Hold on, hold on. I'm okay. about that match. Because Zelina Vega looked absolutely fantastic. Oh, jeez. And so did Scarlet. I hope it's a 1v1. I, we haven't seen Scarlet in the ring so long. Let's have a Zelina versus Scarlet match. Because I'm definitely recording that. 
You didn't hear that, Alex, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I just heard something about you were going to record something. Zelina and fucking Scarlet going on that. It won't oh, be one. Jesus. I 100% got to record that <laughs> oh shit. Oh, my God. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, the Intercon Intercontinental Championship match, Jey Uso versus Braun Breaker, with Breaker defeating Uso for the oh, title. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I hated that. I think I know why. They're trying to show Braun Breaker's strength. Like, we get it, dude. Guy is so strong. All right. I so also feel like John... just as strong as him. Then bring Ryback back, back. Let's bring. I Ryback. feel like Fatu's coming. I feel like Fatu's going for the Intercontinental. Oh, maybe. Because you seen how they did that stare down? They were only uh -huh. going to out or some. Fatu's going to beat him because it's the bloodline. I think they're they're going to hold all the gold at one point before Roman Reigns takes takes everything back. I would hate for that to happen, though. But I can see how, you know, Raw, well, not Raw, WWE makes you hate them and love them at the same uh, time. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, I can see Solo getting a fucking title. I can see fucking uh, Fought 2 getting the Intercontinental. I can see, I mean, and they're all holding gold and say, see what I brought to the bloodline. Ha 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 ha. Roman, you could never do this. You see, like, that's the storyline right there. Roman could never do this, and then The Rock comes out and says, yeah, Solo Sequoia is so right. You couldn't do that, Roman Reigns. Like, look what he did to our family. He's brought all the gold over. The tag team titles, everything. Like, I don't know. I can see it happening, which would suck. But it is what it is. Um, You love to hate him. Yep. What are you doing? Go on, Alex. I didn't know if you were done yet. That was a question. It sounded like a statement to me, so yes, I am done, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> idiot. Um, okay, so anyways, Raw SmackDown, or Jesus Christ, I need to go back to bed. SmackDown preview this week. So far, this is what we have. Is a number one contenders match for the Tag Team Championship. So, Motor City, oh, Machine yeah. Guns, and DIY. DIY, DIY. Um, oh my god, this match. Andrade versus Carmella Hayes. Which I know, oh, I, didn't see that coming. I know, I know we're sick of that, but LA Knight's a special ref. Oh yeah, that's right. So that that's gonna at least spice it up a little bit. Yeah, but you know what's gonna happen? Yeah. No, you know what's gonna happen? What? It ain't gonna get called right. They're gonna get pissed off. The losers gonna get pissed off. They're gonna they're gonna finalize it in Crown Royal or whatever fuck it's called Crown Jewel. <laughs> Crown Royal. <laughs> They're gonna finalize you with Crown Royal. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm I'm calling it now. Whether it's called fair or not, one of them is gonna say it wasn't fair. Yeah, I know what you mean. So they're gonna try to settle this at Crown Jewel. So that'll be the eighth match. We'll we'll get to see. Winner takes all, and then no, the other person's gonna win. Uh, gonna yes, it's just gonna, gonna keep gonna fucking going. going. Gotta be a ninth one. Um, and then last, it, this isn't a match. It just says that Cody Rhodes is gonna come face to face with Gunther. Face off. Face. It doesn't say if that's a match or if it's just them talking. It's just a talk, and they're gonna kill each other. <laughs> uh. Because you got. This will be the 25th. That means you got one more SmackDown before... Crown Jewel. Crown Jewel, so... Yeah, I can see I can see them just going face-to-face -face and smacking each other in the face with open palms. And yes, yeah. Maybe jerking each other off in the middle of the ring. And... Could get interrupted, though. I could see it getting interrupted. Because Damian Priest is going after... Going to... Um, 
And then raw, the Raw preview for next week is first match that they have confirmed is Sheamus versus Ludwig Kaiser again. Oh no, that was Pete Dunne he was going against. Why did I think? I don't know. Well, you just really lagged right there, so I don't know what you just said. Oh, I said Sheamus versus Ludwig, and then I said uh, again, and then I said, wait, no, that's Pete Dunne he was going against. You mean Butch? Yeah, Butch, yeah. Fucking Butch? Butchie? No, oh, Butchie, Butchie? Is that the only one for Raw? Uh, there, I said there's three more announced so far. Dominic Mysterio versus a former world champion is all it says. So uh, he's got a, a, a to-be-determined opponent. So I can't former wait. World, world champion. I, I don't know. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't say who. That's what it says. So Maybe his dad? No, because... Ray has a match. Oh, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, and that actually is the next confirmed. Is the WWE World Tag Team Contenders Final. New Day, War Raiders, and uh, Latino World Order. And then the last match that's confirmed is Zelina Vega versus Ivy Nile. Why is she going against Ivy Nile? I don't know. It's probably a filler match, I'd imagine. It needs to be Scarlet, dude. They were getting into it. There. No, honestly, it, it, <clears throat> it was. I mean, they were getting into it at the. Not that they're hot or nothing, but just because they were getting into it. You think uh, Kofi Kingston could be the. Didn't he hold a world title? Maybe. I'm pretty sure Kofi. I, held the yeah, world I'm pretty sure you're right. LWO and then was kind of like buddy buddies there for uh, I wouldn't say buddy buddies but I don't know I feel like I feel like it could be Here, hold on. Let me actually listen to this. It's a clip from when he was talking about who's the world world title. Or, yeah. Carlito is the one that found the information. Maybe it's Carlito. That'd be hilarious. Carlito informs Dirty Dom of his match against a former... Configure a service a little bit of a different. Oh, game. It's an adjustment. That's not my headphones. That's a damn hockey match. Oh my god. Hold on. Was that important? He has him. Who's the who's the who's a former world champion? Did you ask? He's like, no, I didn't. Is that important? <laughs> Fucking Carlito, dude. <laughs> uh, now I'm now I'm really curious on who that world champion. is. I know I'm I'm excited to to find out. Yeah, that's, I, 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 that's on Raw, right? Yeah. It's okay. On Raw. Great. So I'll be tired and half asleep. So. See here. Hey, I've got some breaking news for you, babe. Just came across my Facebook. What? 
the Kansas City Chiefs say they plan to stick with Patrick Mahomes as quarterback one moving forward. <laughs> AJ Styles. The AJ Styles. Oh, I can see AJ Styles. Yeah. Watch it be Roman Reigns, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Could be Austin Theory. I haven't seen him in a minute. I don't know, I'm curious. I am very curious. I'd laugh my ass off if it's fucking Carlito, though, dude. That would be funny. Alright, so is that all we have? Oh, yep, that's all I had. I didn't know. McIntyre. Oh, yeah. Dominic Mysterio is dead. <laughs> or Finn Balor. Yeah. Dude, I got so many. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. All right. Good enough for me, though. If I got another, you wouldn't get another minion. Uh. All righty. Does anyone want to add anything before we hop off this biatch? Nope, I don't have anything else to add. Um, the only thing I want to add is thank you so much, Marcus, for joining the live part of the podcast. Um, if you want to ever listen to some of the other things, if you happen to miss our live part, um, it is on Spotify. Um, Alex, can you put the link into the chat? To what? To Spotify. No, because I, I'm not logged in on this computer. Okay, well, next week, maybe log in. With okay, them. that's fine. We can do that. Um, it's, I'll just go ahead and send it to you if you want it. Just send me a message. Um, but it's, it goes live tomorrow on Spotify at 6 a.m. Because, you know, if you want to go to work, of course, we're three hours ahead of you. Um, 6 a.m. Eastern time, it goes live on Spotify. And then YouTube, it goes live on Friday at 6 a.m. So if you want to watch my bets, my NFL picks, I know you don't really watch NFL, but in case you want to. Maybe make some cash. I did win a bet earlier this year. Um, I actually won, sort of won three bets. I cashed out a couple of them. Um, but I did win two $300 bets this year on the NFL. Um, I don't know if Canadians. Hey, I don't know, hey I don't Chris, know how about how your, uh, your hockey record, huh? How many, how many bets you won with hockey? Uh, zero. <laughs> I was very close, though. Uh, I was. I had five of five of seven one time, and had a my first bet was three three out of six. I had a seven out of nine the other day. I was so upset. Yeah, then I had a five out of seven, which I thought was pretty good for not knowing hockey, and that was a hundred thirty percent boost. Like hockey did a hundred thirty percent profit boost. Like I was hot. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I I got that, and I was like, I'm getting on. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Again, I'm going to plug in my YouTube. is Murdoch Gaming on YouTube. And if you guys on Spotify want to watch it live, it's on Wednesdays, usually around 6, 6.30. Again, it's overtime. We're out here busting our asses, dude. All right? I'm tired. So Wednesdays, it's around 6-ish. Um, it's on Twitch.tv. Or, yeah, Murdoch Gamer, Twitch.tv. So... Whatever it is, twitch.tv slash Marlow Gamer. Same thing. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, a YouTube. Stay tuned. Right after this, you'll see my bet picks. So uh, peace out and I love you guys. All right, YouTube. Like I said, we got two bets going to be happening today. I got one on DraftKings and then another one on FanDuel. I'm going to do the DraftKings ones. We're going to try to play it safe. We're just going to do the money lines I think is going to win. And again, we're just doing. Since I lost my last week's bet, which I kind of figured, we're going to go back to the 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock games. So let's get right into it. we got the Detroit Lions winning. 
We got the Ravens winning. We got the Packers winning. We got the Texans winning. This game's going to be a tough one, but I I picked Eagles to win. I have the Jets winning. I have the Falcons winning. I have Arizona winning, which they're underdogs for some reason. Maybe because it's not at home. I have Buffalo winning. I have the Chargers, but that's going to be a close game. I have the Chiefs, I have the Broncos, I have the Commanders winning, which is going to be a close one. So there it is. No games in the early, early, early window. No 9 o'clock games this week. Thank God, bro. Of course, the week I take off, we could have done it. I know. Plug that five in for $1,247. Let's get this fucking money, baby. Let's get it. Can we get this bet, please? Let's lock it in. Bet place. All right, now we got to go in the fandom. All right, so we're here on the NFL now. Again, here we are. On the fan duel, you see I have fifty-one dollars because I cashed out some. Um, and this is the game that these are the games we're gonna do for this week. We're gonna do every game because why not? Let's go ahead and look at the uh see if we got any boost. We always look for boost. We're probably not gonna get one. Doesn't look like we do. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the money line. We got the Vikings, and we're going to do every game this time except for mine, of course. Uh, I have the Cardinals. I have the Jets. I have Eagles. I have Packers. I have Falcons. I have Ravens. I have Texans. I have Lions. I have Chargers. I have the Bills. I have Washington. I have Denver. I have the Chiefs. Don't do that game. We have the Steelers beating the Giants. So that should be all the games. Which ain't far off of it. I mean, there's only two games that <laughs> we added. So here we go. 15-leg parlay. We got five for $2,300. 24 really. Damn. Let's hope we hit that. Huh? Can we hit this shit? I hope Can so. Can we hit this shit? Let's hit this shit. All right? Let's fucking hit it. But, wait a minute. There's more. I want to do a bonus bet for you guys because I've never done this with you guys on YouTube. I want to do uh, anytime TDs. See how many we can get. Looks like we can only do... Uh, Eagles and the Bengals and the for some reason, and that's totally fine. Let's just make one here. Let's go with Justin Jefferson scoring, and let's do uh, hmm, let's go with Aaron Jones on that game. Okay, um, can we do this? It's going to knock that. Yeah, it's going to knock that out. Okay. So let's let's just see what the odds are. Yeah, see, that sucks. We're not doing that. There's no way. We're we're making, we're trying to make money here. We're not trying to. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have Barkley and Chase on this one. It's for some reason, we can't do another team, which kind of sucks. This just kind of sucks. I don't know why we're not allowed to do different teams here. Can we do... Here we go. Alternate spread. No, it doesn't. It doesn't allow us to do... That's insane to me, dude. But there we go. We're just going to go ahead and lock that in. $53. That's just betting money if we can hit it, right? Are we not allowed? Why is it not allowing us to do it? I don't know. I don't like the way FanDuel does their stuff. I don't either. 
Like, look at that. It's not letting me, like, what's wrong with my bet? It doesn't even tell me what's wrong with it. Let's just remove it. Maybe you just cut that out, too, then, Alex. Just say, fuck it. That's fine. It. All right. <clears throat> well, there you have it. That's my bets for this week. Since it won't let me make another bet. Um, there we go. Let's make that $2,400. All right. YouTube, love you. Peace out.